What about a guy like Tony Stewart? He comes from sprints and midgets. He did well in the IRL race, and now he's down here trying to do bush. He was 11th fast at one point this week, and he thinks he's going to do well. What about newcomers like that? Do you, do you see anybody on the horizon that you think's a newcomer? Hot sure, track? that's what how NASCAR uh, got started. That's what Indianapolis was all about. Every year you found a new Tony Stewart. I remember when the day A.J. Foyt came there in 1958, same day, year, year that I started. Uh, <clears throat> cocky and uh, with, you know, talent running out both ears and uh, uh, then went on to become uh, arguably the best driver this country ever had. And that's what it was good about. That's what NASCAR was good about. Tony Stewart ain't no different in 1995 than A.J. Foyt was in 1958. The only difference was that in the big argument between the IRL and the CART, Tony Stewart got a chance. That's what happened. If that argument had to start between those two companies, two organizations, Tony Stewart would still be driving a goddamn midget and a sprinter, and maybe he'd have got a ride in the bush car. But it'd all be the hard way. Now, I think Tony Stewart has got a lot of talent, and he's probably gonna has a hell of a future, but I'm gonna tell you something. There's still 99 more Tony Stewarts out there if you just give them a goddamn chance right now. And that's the way racing used to be. If you had the talent and the preservation, uh, you could get a shot at it. You can't now.